guys, welcome. Today we are gonna do an experiment with specific gravity. I have on three sets of mugs my base, my normal matte white base glaze. So I have it at 1.56, 1.46, and 1.36 specific gravity. On top of that, we're gonna cover it with this cover glaze right here at a high, medium, and low specific gravity. So we're gonna get nine glaze combinations out of this thing. And let's see what happens. Let's do it. Hey guys, good morning. We've had a few days since we did that glaze test. We got the stuff out of the kiln and I wanted to show you the results. So again, we have three different groups and I did one bonus that I, I'll tell you about in just a second, but we have a base glaze of uh, 1.56, 1.46 and 1.36. And this is again, this is my main uh, matte white uh, glaze. I get it from Armadillo Clay. They call it 503 on the website if you want to get it. So those three, and then on top of each of those three, I have a high, medium, and low uh, specific gravity for my cover glaze. And let me show you the results. But before I show you the results, let me show you what's going on with uh, my coating system at the bottom of this mug. Now you'll see on the bottom of these mugs, I have two sets of dots. I have the set of dots by the handle, which corresponds with the thickness or the specific gravity of the uh, base glaze, the white mat. And then on the opposite side, across from the handle, I have one, two, or three dots, which basically just says how thick is the cover glaze. Is it uh, low, medium, or high density, uh, high specific gravity cover glaze? So before I forget, before we go into the results, I have one more over here that was kind of adjacent to this group of three, and that was a double dip for the cover glaze. So I'll show that in the results too. So let's get into the results. glaze combinations plus the the bonus double dip here let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite ask any questions you got and if you want a visual reminder of this process or this experiment we did you can check the description below there's a link where you can download a free PDF that's a visual reference for these things all right that's all I got thanks for watching and keep learning <laughs> <laughs>